Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I would like to show you uh, what this book is about, what your first grader needs to know. This is the first time for me buying from this series and I'm liking it. It's not like I'm not following it uh, step by step. Like I mentioned in my video where I actually show this book, um, how I plan our school year. It's kind of like a guide for me. And I'm just gonna show you uh, what it looks like inside. It's not a complete review because I haven't read all this book. Just gonna show you what it looks like inside. Maybe if it catches your eye and you wanna purchase it, you kinda know what it looks like. Um, and on the back, it's a little bit of a summary what it covers the subjects and so. And if you wanna pause and read it, you can do that. Um, so this is it. Um, you can go on this website on the bottom, the core, uh, coreknowledge.org. And then this is a table of contents. It covers language and literature, reading, writing, and your first grader. And then literature covers poetry, fables, stories, drama, and family saints. And when you go to that, it tells you how to teach your child how to read and you know how to have a balanced approach um how to read and write this you know when you're transitioning from a kindergarten to a first grader um you know it tells you it gives you a little uh, advice advice is you know be comfortable reading simple words they can sound out as well as a few common sight words um you know, point, print both uppercase and lowercase. They're actually going to show you in alphabet. Yeah, they do that. And I actually don't teach my daughter this type of A. I teach the other A, the one with the little uh, arc on the top. And I don't teach this, teach this kind of cue. I do another one. <laughs> and the same. Okay, see? And the uppercase, I do this uppercase with the two lines. Um, so it's a little different, um, but then it tells you what a good uh, first grade program should do. And here's some, you know, um, different things that it should include in the program. You know, and talk about letter sounds. Um, an environment for the children to want to learn, you know, some rules for writing. So it's a really nice guide when it comes to that, you know, what you can do to help at home if a child was, you know, was going to school or something. And then in literature, oh, it gives you uh, some um, samples of books to buy for the kids, but it makes uh, make sure you know that these are not phonetically controlled. So. Um, yeah, the beginners, readers, treasury, and ready. Um, yeah, so just something to have in mind. Then for literature, I love this part. It's just a little introduction and then read aloud activities, which is awesome. I am um, let your child look through the book before you read it. Let him uh, skim the pages and look at the pictures. I do that all the time. She loves doing that. She actually reads the book just by looking at the pictures and then she asked me to read it to her so a lot of um, uh, tips on that and help your child memorize a favorite poem so it's really nice and then it's this is what I really like they give you uh, poetry for you to read to your child stories and everything is in here <laughs> and it goes from page uh, I believe it was page 17 all the way to page 106 all these are stories, um, poems, fables, like you, show, you saw on the table of contents. So you can have a lot of books in here. <laughs> then uh, when it comes to social studies, history and geography, world history and geography, American history and geography. And you can read it if you want to. You can pause the video and read this. Here's the continue part for that. Oops, there. Uh, in my opinion, it does a lot of history 
and to me history is something that well i mean it depends on the parents i'm not gonna give my opinion that it depends on the parents so it, it has a lot of history and which is good about it because they uh um they offer a lot of right uh, reading to do with that like the ice age humans on the move you know and then they tell you about that you know and they show you different things and then it jumps into egypt uh gift of the nile you know and maps pictures uh, pharaohs hieroglyphics you know and nice pictures um, so it covers like it's like a little mini summary of uh, curriculum and then it talks about religions of the world um, American history and geography cities in the jungle in the lake the unsolved mystery the arrival of the Europeans What, who, why did the Spanish win? Mexico today, the lost colony, Jamestown, Pocahontas, <laughs> uh, Puritans, uh, 13 colonies. So a lot of history, you know, you can have your own little curriculum right here. You don't need to purchase a lot more stuff. I think this is more than enough for a first grader. And then jumps into visual arts. Let me show you what it covers from here. And um, it covers quite a bit. This is a little introduction. If you want to read the, introdu the introduction, you can pause the video and do so. And these are some suggested resources, books and more books. <laughs> And this one, I like it. Um, I'm going to show this to my daughter so she can know other uh, artists and their paintings. And we'll probably can do a little unit study about, actually we want to do like a lab book with different uh, artists in there. So she knows this, and but it will be a good review to see it. You know, this one I actually want to do with my daughter, different techniques for drawings because she's, a drawing artist she loves to draw and she has a really good hand with it <laughs> so um, and also texture looking good portraits uh, it even gives you an activity idea to do with that uh, self portraits um, portraits I'm sorry um, murals another activity and so on and then it comes to music and this is what it covers for music. And I am going to use this because I, I don't purchase a music curriculum, at least not for now. And this is what it covers in it. Again, just a recording of favorite songs for children. Um, and the introduction, let me show you the introduction. You can pause the video and read it. I hope that this is focusing enough so you can pause the video and read it. And then instruments and their families. We covered this in first um, in kindergarten last year, but we might as well review it. I got her a, a pair of these um, uh, castanets this year. She has a xylophone and tambourine, and hopefully we're gonna get her a guitar soon or a flute. She doesn't know yet. She, she's still not decided on that, so I'm not pushing it. Uh, she learned with my husband the other day. It was an orchestra. She learned a lot about instruments and different notes. I mean, he, he plays instruments, so he knows more about that. And he just gave her a class <laughs> the other day. They were, it was like, I think it was like 10.30 at night. We went to bed really late and he was teaching her that. Uh, so great composers. Again, I want to do a lap book on that. So this is going to come in great. Mozart. Get to know great composers and their music. So this is awesome. Music can tell a story. I want to teach her that as well. You know, different songs, drama, dancing, jazz. And you know, when it comes to music and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to pick and choose the things that I want to teach her. Um, not everything that's in here. And then some favorite songs. 
and I don't know if I'm going to teach her this song so it's, you know the lyrics and all that stuff uh, yeah music is like a good thing to teach your kids but um, you also have your own set of values and things that you want to teach your child as well um, then mathematics this is what it covers numbers and number sense computation money geometry and measurement um, so this is that and here's the long introduction to it I hope that you can focus so I'm going to show you this part first and then the rest okay some suggested resources again Patterns and classification, numbers and number sense, some things to prepare in advance, you know, a lot of hands on activity, so that's great. Numbers from one to ten, one more and one less, numbers to things in order, place value, uh, place value from 21 to 100, counting to 100, 12, it's a dozen, greater than, than and less than, uh, before and after, number flashcards, activities, using graphs, fractions, and fraction is, is um, this is it, all up to one quarter, that's it. Uh, computation, learn a fact day, learn a fact a day, mental math, addition facts to 12, subtraction facts to 12, um, 0 to 12. Practice your addition, you know, games, um, dicey additions, things to know, differences. Uh, oh, and um, adding three numbers. Fact families, find the mystery number. Addition and subtraction stories, 100 table, or 100 chart. Two digit addition and two digit subtraction. Money, geometry. These are the shapes that they, the one they suggest you to teach. Measurements, calendar time. Telling time. Um, so you can see it's up to the hour, the hour and then um, uh, to 30 minutes. And that's it. And then last one is science. Oops. There we go. Science. Living things and their habitats. Oceans and undersea life. The human body. Master, I'm um, sorry, matter, solid, liquid, and gas, measurements, electricity, astronomy, down to earth, stories about scientists. So, and science is right here. And here's the introduction that I let you read as well. Let me do this. And then right here. And some suggested resources um, and more suggested resources mostly books uh, leaving things in their habitats and again it's like a little mini curriculum right here um, the food chain animals and plants need their habitats to be careful Oceans and undersea life. So pictures and reading the human body. Five senses. Hold on. Hold on one second. Matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Measurements, how long. How tall. You know, like um, how to measure with units. Like gallons, pounds, liters, and stuff. Electricity, astronomy. So this is all the table of contents, but I wanna show you what it looks like inside. So yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, but that's it. That was my daughter, I'm sorry. She was letting me know that the mailman just came. We're waiting for some books in, in the mail. So that's that for this um, video. Um, I hope that this was a resourceful video for you to watch 
and to help you get a better idea of to what, as to what this book looks like inside. This is the price that it goes for, but I paid this for this book, uh, let me see, $6.50 actually, and I got a 20% discount on that, a 20% homeschool discount at this uh, bookshop. When they, they would sell these books used, but it was in great condition, as you can see. Um, I hope that it gave you a better idea about this book. I'm sorry it's not a complete review, but um, maybe it's going to help you, you know, decide if you want to purchase it or not. So again, I show you the back of the book. Some information if you want to write it down. And that's it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.